it is currently 5 a.m. right now and it's 2 degrees Celsius outside. Freaking cold. Okay, the plan for today is to go to Kamakura, but first, let's make some coffee. Currently on my way to Kamakura, it is a coastal town two and a half hours away from here. It's currently 7.30, off we go. Finally reach Kamakura. Yeah. I think this trip is starting really good because I was just eating my onigiri and then there's like an old man who talked to me. Huh? Mm. And I don't know, he's trying to communicate with me in Japanese and look, I don't know how to speak Japanese. And I just find those moments like really cute and memorable. I continued my tour in Kamakura and the first place I visit is this temple. It's a bit thirsty, but what I like about this place is that most of the crowd are local tourists. And you know, Japanese tourists are just calm and peaceful which gives this place a pleasant experience. It has all the rituals of a Japanese temple, very well maintained place, super clean, definitely drop by when you visit Kamakura. On my way to my next location, I passed by Komachi Street. Okay, I'm now in Komachi Street and this is a famous street for souvenirs. The next place I visit is Yurigahama Beach. I never expect myself to be on a beach in Japan since we have a lot here in the Philippines. But hey, not bad. A good spot to chill and just be with your thoughts. Next stop is the Great Buddha. Honestly, it's just a statue and nothing else but all cool. My last stop is the Hasidera Temple. This one is another great temple to visit. My favorite part of this place is the view you get from the top. You get an overlooking view of the town of Kamakura. The temples are well maintained and overall I had a great experience just going around and lots of interesting religious statues can be found in the place. What I like most about Kamakura is its overall vibe. It's a laid-back town just outside the city. It's the only place I visited where a local tried to have a conversation with me. I found it really charming. They have their own iconic train that is the inspiration of Slumdunk the anime. The place definitely has a personality and energy different from the other place I visited in Japan. I highly, highly recommend to give this town a visit, especially if you're just around Tokyo. I hope you enjoy watching the vlog. If ever there's a friend of mine who's going to invite me to go to Kamakura again, I'd definitely go. I have a few more vlogs left from my Japan trip, and I hope I can consistently post them every week up until end of February, and then let's see how it goes. For sure, I'll document more of my life this year, and hopefully I could get this YouTube thing going again. See you next week. Damn, this place is absolutely nice.